a moose sighting in New Mexico has one community in utter disbelief. Mm -hmm. There have been moose sightings this year in places like Cuesta and Mora. Yeah, but this one here, well, it's different for a couple of reasons. Brian Laughlin tracked down a couple moose witnesses and explains why this sighting here, Ryan, is so special. Yeah, this is him, a bull moose that is believed to have traveled south from Colorado. So far south, this guy is now trotting into our history books. Most of the animals in the vast New Mexico wilderness stay out of sight. And I said to my husband, I think that's a moose. That was not the case on Sunday by the parking lot of Ski Santa Fe. I think I'll kill you. A bull moose trotting up Hyde Park Road right near the parking lot of Ski Santa Fe. My son, who's five, who was in the back seat, uh, said, I think he looked me right in the eye. Teresa Ronan took this video. To be the individual to capture that, I kind of felt like, you know, this might be my week to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Dan Clark snapped this picture from the car behind Teresa. I had a thought that I better get a picture of this moose because if I don't get a picture of it, Nobody will believe me. Both were heading home after a day on the slopes of Ski Santa Fe. And now this ski mountain holds a new record. This is the southernmost known sighting of a moose in New Mexico. Ryan Dar with New Mexico Game and Fish says there have been about a dozen moose sightings in the last decade, including a couple this year. We first reported a moose on the loose uh, up by Cuesta back in uh, October. We had a moose on the move uh, down by Mora in November. Which prompted New Mexico nature lovers to create the Facebook group, Where's Marty Moose? However, we have uh, at least two moose on the loose this year. This moose is estimated to be three to four years old and close to 1,000 pounds. Bigger and older than the moose named Marty, seen further north. Well, now we need folks help to track too. A rare sighting, a memorable day, and now another moose somewhere in the Sangre de Cristos. I want him to be healthy and happy and have a great moose life. So moose aren't native here. They were introduced in Colorado in the 70s and have since occasionally wandered south. But the males can be dangerous. Game and Fish recommends giving them space, slowly backing away if you're not in a car. And if it comes to it, they say to take cover behind something big, believe it or not, guys. Ryan, I'm surprised you weren't out there looking for them yourself today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you.